one of the things that we can add to our scene is in the horizon, uh, horizon line is the dust effect. The dust is very important here to enhance the realism because it's a desert, so for sure it should, should be, it should have like uh, in the horizon line should have dust as we are going far and far. So for that we can add a new solid with the color of the dust we will choose here and with a rectangular mask we'll create a rectangle and add some feathering no need to change it as a 3d layer because it will keep the same place as we are not changing the horizon we'll scale it a little bit and we'll place it just keep in mind to place it place it behind the rocks and the plant Okay, maybe we can move the mask so we'll have this result. Here, I think the plant, we have to change the color of the plant to be more integrated to the scene. So for that, we'll select the plant, not the shadow, the plant, and we can use the tree tone effect using the global color here of the sea and we can add more we can play with a blending degree so yeah it looks nice here and because the light source of light is behind it we can we can uh, just uh, giving it more contrast and darken it a little bit with the curve effect you can give it more dark tone yeah this is the result okay for the sky too we can add double click on it and we will add clouds here in this region to simulate other layer of clouds moving a little bit faster as they are closer to the camera so for that we will get our texture that we prepared for that scale it bigger than the composition and we will move it from left from right to left like this And right click on it effect keying with the key light effect we can get rid of this blue okay just there is a pure white maybe here so we have to change it with the same effect select the layer color correction tree tone and now we'll choose this layer in the mid tones but the white will change the white to a color closer to the color of the clouds in the background so if we check we'll have this layer we'll have this result sorry one more thing maybe is like uh, we don't need the clouds in the bottom here bottom side we need it just in the upper side here so what we can do is like doing a rectangular mask here in this region sorry just to select the layer first a rectangular mask like that we will have this result and yeah, it looks nice going back to our composition we'll have this look yeah here comes the step of color correcting all of this scene so for this one we'll add a new adjustment layer this adjustment layer rename it CC color correction and we'll add color correction effect curves and we'll darken a little bit giving it more contrast here 
okay and uh, maybe we'll play with colors too so we can add just color correction tree tone effect and we'll play a little bit choose the tone that you want here maybe I'll, I'll try to choose this tone yeah okay or maybe more orange okay here we reach the step where we can uh, give more tweaking to our scene so I imagine sometimes um, the difference between uh, CG image and real image is like the glow effect the glow that gives you a touch of softness to the um, to the image so what we have to do now is like to create a new adjustment layer we'll place it on the top and rename it glow uh, Okay, we can bring the glow effect double click on it it will add a glow a general glow to the scene it's full resolution this is our scene this is the glow effect yeah we'll increase the glow radius maybe 0.4 here yeah it looks nice uh, here our scene maybe if we want to get rid about this burning effect we have to maybe to place here rectangular mask so we will mask the effect we will choose where it will appear and where not we'll increase the feather yeah that looks nice uh, now that comes the turn for the depth of field so we'll select our camera maybe place it in the upper side of the layers and we'll open the camera option and switch it on we'll choose the focus plan the focus plan may be at 450 be our the plant will increase it to 25 here okay here comes the end of the tutorial feel free at any time maybe to to add just your touch to the scene maybe you add another adjustment layer and in this this adjustment layer is color gradient you can choose the, the tone the right tone for your scene here for me I'm using always the tree tone effect I'm trying to go for example for more bluish maybe you can have some incredible result okay and with this effect maybe I will add like vibrance give more vibrance to my scene maybe I'll change it here more bluish more contrast now yeah. that looks nice really Thank you guys and hope to see you in the coming tutorial. Bye.